Hello, in this video, I am going to show you the raised button. So the raised button is a material design type of button. Instead of it being flat, it has sort of like an elevation. The elevation increases when the button is being pressed. You can add it as a child as you normally would, whether it's within an array of widgets or just a child directly. Totally up to you. So to add it's really simple. So you can just do child and we can raise button and here what we can do is there is you know one default parameter that essentially needs and that is the on press so it requires the on press without that it will not work so let's add the on pressed right now so on pressed on pressed you can even put no and that means it's not going to have any sort of click functionality. I've already got a method right here. That's a simple button click. So I'm just going to, you know, put that in. So button click. And now, if we were to say, but let's just see what we get. We got this at the moment, obviously. If I click it, say button click. At the moment, we've got no text in there. So what we can do is add a child in here. And we have to add text. We could add an image, we could add text, we could add a row that, that will allow us to add an array of widgets. So we could add an image and then some text next to it or an icon. I'm just going to keep it simple and add some text. And I'm going to say click me. There we go. If you want to modify the color, we can do that. So there's a whole heap of properties. So if we put control space, you can change the text theme, the text color. Let's do the color. So this is the background color. I'm going to say color dot let's do red. Looking pretty good. Let's change the actual text color. Text color, I think we're gonna do white. I think that look will complement the red a lot better. Yep, and we can change what else can we change? We can also change like the color brightness as well, the disabled color. So if the button, you know, essentially gets disabled for some reason, maybe the user does something or they they don't have, let's say, certain permissions or they haven't done something, then we start a login form. You can't click the login button until you filled in both text boxes, for example. And we can say highlight color. Let's put this to black. The color dark black. Now if I click it, we get, you know, black. And as you can see, it has that raised effect. It's got the shadow. And there are a whole heap of other properties that you can add. You can change, you know, the elevation amount, the animation duration, but these are all pretty simple stuff. So what, what, what I recommend is as an extra task, go through all of the properties, experiment with them. I'll provide an extra link that will take you to the official documentation where you can actually see all of the different properties available and that should you know help you. but if you need any if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video